The biggest opposition to the Foxconn project was the opportunity costs. Now it's up to more than, I think it's $4.4 billion of residents of Wisconsin are paying, uh, whether through roads, property taxes, uh, utility charges. This is not a good deal. I mean, so many small businesses, uh, new economy tech startups have said, you know, for a fraction of this, what you could do to grow new businesses, the new kind of businesses we know that are gonna attract people here. He's recommended contempt proceedings for nine officials. Do you wish that would go away and that we could close the door on, on the whole John Doe saga in, in Wisconsin politics? You know, to be honest with you at this point, they're the ones that are keeping it out there. They ended this investigation early. We discovered that there were clear violations of what was existing campaign finance law when it comes to coordination. We know that people in some of the investigations you know, there were, there were criminal actions. This seems to be something different, some sort of sideshow to focus on this whole leaks thing and to, you know, and now we have the case where they've outed information that should have never been released. You know, Michael Haas and Mr. Bell uh, have the support. There was just a six nothing vote by the Republicans and the Democrats on the committee. These guys, I think, are trying to tarnish the reputations of these individuals, not because of anything that happened in the past, because I think they want someone that's more partisan in charge, that if there's a 3-3 vote, the governor can put his person in there um, to you know, water down and, and control the administration of our election. What the public should be concerned about is why the majority leader and the speaker are trying to politicize the people that work with our clerks to have functioning elections in our state 11, 10 months before the next election at a time when we've got maybe international interference where we've got uh, you know cyber attacks on our system i mean the last thing that we need is to have this type of upheaval before such an important election and my biggest fear is that the leaders on the republican side are trying to set us up for something <laughs>